Welcome back. When it comes to wine, most of us know that red pairs well with steak, white pairs well with seafood. But what about switching it up with some sweet treats just in time for Halloween? Hall uh, Kathy Martell from Perdinalis Cellars is joining us to tell us more. This is my favorite type of pairing, uh, Kathy, because I love sugar. <laughs> Good awesome. morning. Good morning. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you brought today. All right, so we brought three different wines just to kind of highlight um, some different things. And so we have um, a 2022 white blend. Okay. Um, and then we have a 2022 um, young style um, Hoven Tempranillo. Um, Hoven means young. I do and love then Tempranillo. We brought, um, since we're headed into the holidays, um, our Stonewall Glug. It's um, of Swedish descent, and so it's actually um, a mold spiced wine. You can serve it warm or serve it out of the bottle port style. It is 19%, but this is our big holiday wine. So we're about to officially release it next weekend into our tasting room. And so that will end with and, and do a nice pairing with it. Okay, so people are learning now. Glug is G-L-O with like the umlaut, the mm -hmm. two dots over it, G-G, mm -hmm. Glug. And it's already spiced in um, in the bottle. And so when we heat it, we heat it with just a little bit of sugar. You don't boil it because then it changes the composition. Ah. Um, and so you can serve it warm or like we're going to have it today um, just out of the bottle. I'm excited. Okay, talk to us about your Arcadia White pairing. What did you bring for that? All right, so we decided to go, um, this is a pretty um, acidic wine. Um, it is primarily um, Niagara, a little bit of Riesling, Viognier, and Roussan. Oh, and so Niagara, I like a lot of those. Yeah, Niagara was a new grape for us um, with this vintage, and so um, it's a, a commonly used in North America, and so um, it does have like some kind of straw notes to the wine itself. We thought it would pair really nicely with a caramel apple, not like a super decked out, just real simple, um, with the peanuts and stuff, <laughs> and then <laughs> it should balance out the acidity of this wine really nice. Mm -hmm. So you get like the lemon and a little bit of brioche on the on the nose, and then when you eat it with the car with the caramel and the and the saltiness of the peanuts, it should really balance that out. I can't believe how much I like that. Mm -hmm. These two go really well together. I would. I'm not a sweets person, so this is like this was fun trying to figure all this stuff mm -hmm. out. Oh man, something about. It's that powerhouse combo when they, they the two come together. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk to me about your Tempranillo. All right, so this is 100% um, uh, Tempranillo grapes from uh, one of our growing partners in the High Plains from Daniel Vineyards. Um, and so it's a young style um, wine. So we paired it with a homemade Rice Krispie treat. Wow, I'm so impressed. So kind of that vanilla and creaminess should really just bring out the balance in this wine. It is a nice light fruity wine. So typically you could kind of pair it with like some picnic foods, but um, the Rice Krispie treat really should make a good, um, a I'm good little pair. I'm gonna get full by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about what makes Tempranillo such a good, um, Kind of like a great table wine, a great host gift, like a, you know, useful for many things. Um, because it's just great all around. I mean, Tempranillo <laughs> grows really well. We make, Paternella Cellars makes an excellent Tempranillo. We win awards for them all the time. Um, the nice thing about this one is that it is a younger wine, so it doesn't have like that, it's not a really big body. And so to me, easier drinking, this is, you know, your kind of, lunch wine and, and can be a little bit more food friendly than some of like your temp reserves and and something a little bit bolder okay so, so this is it it just it's a, like i said it's a different style and so our um, um first pairing i felt like this you know crazy sugar concoction got really mellowed out mm -hmm. by this this it's like an so sugary and it's like acidic on the back end mm -hmm. it's um it's a really fun, punchy combination. It, like it makes the wine pop. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You say the words a whole lot better than I do. <laughs> I'm gonna pour the glug while you talk to us a little bit more about it. As you said, a Swedish invention that we've now kind of brought yep. over so, here. So um, in in Europe, you have your mold, you know, your mold wines during all of the holiday time. Can, can and you talk so, to us about what that actually means? Is it just spices? It's yeah. So like in Germany, you have like your Glühwein. In Italy, it's Vin Brule, and then Sweden they have the Glug. And so it is. Um, you traditionally would just serve it warm. And so we serve this warm during the holiday season. It's Christmas in a cup. I it mean, you can so good. smell it. So yeah. this is already spiced. When I've had it before, they actually add spices 
spices into it. They heat it up, you add sugar to it, and then you can even add like brandy and stuff like once it's heated. I'm we not saying we, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't do that, but um, it's a great wine. Like, I mean, the first time I ever had this is exactly what I said. I was like, oh, it smells like Christmas in a cup. It does. And so yeah. it goes well. You can serve it port style. Um, just like this, just in a glass, just by itself. And anything with a little bit of spice is really going to complement it. And mm -hmm. so in the tasting room um, during the holidays, we'll serve it with a little ginger snap cookie. Um, if we're going to serve it warm, um, they traditionally do it with uh, shaved almonds and mm. raisins. And so we put that in and we kind of get, we give folks a spoon and they also get the ginger snap. And so we serve it warm and we do limit it to one little warm tasting because it is. I was going to say it's so good. It does still <laughs> pack, pack a punch. And today we have it with um, a spice cake that has a cream cheese swirl in it. So no frosting or anything like that. It's just traditional spice cake just to kind of bring that it's bring doubling that. down on Christmas mm -hmm. tastes amazing but we've had it before where we've served it like this at a wine dinner with um, bread pudding mm. and that's really great but if you're looking for something else I'm not a pie person but pumpkin pie is also another one that would go really well okay. with that so all right last 10 seconds real quickly yep. bundles still available this month uh, yep come over October bundles both still available until the end of the month and then we're just getting ready for all of our holiday events so many fun things coming up thank yes. you so much thank Kathy. you we appreciate it she brings delicious stuff don't miss out on exciting upcoming events you can learn more at perdinalisellers.com <laughs>